I've been covering high school football in four different states for 13 seasons, and I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that the 2023 season has flown by faster than any that's come before. Week 11 in Texas high school football, the final week of the regular season already, and tons of playoff implications this week, as well as teams trying to get tuned up for the postseason. That was the case at the SAC. Montwood heading to the playoffs, hosting a red hot Coronado team that is playing for pride, trying for a fourth straight win to close the season. Ben Wilson in the first quarter, deep to Blake Randag in triple coverage, makes the catch that would settle for a field goal with the T-Birds there for a 10 to nothing lead. Michael Southern been great for Montwood this year, but struggled in the first half. Intercepted there by Lucas Gonzalez, one of three first half interceptions by Montwood. And then this is Thomas Murray running all over the place. Touchdown also had an interception in the first half for Coronado. They're up 13 to nothing at the break. They win 26 21. Both teams finished the regular season 5 and 5 but based on overall district records. The Rams are going to the playoffs. The T-Bird season is over over on the west side. Franklin hosting El Dorado. The Cougars still with very slim playoff hopes entering week 11. I don't know if you guys are familiar with an old YouTube video. This guy playing Madden as Greg Jennings with a broken leg and putting the team on his back. That's what Shea Smith did on this one breaking tackles. 64 yards to the crib, putting the team on his back. Oh, the Cougars up two scores after that. Later in the quarter, El Dorado in the red zone. Elijah Issa off play action. Sam Guzman is not fooled. Adrian Olivas, the touchdown. The Aztecs down 28-20 after a missed extra point. Less than two minutes ago in the first half, this is Smith. 1-2, Brownie outside. Another rushing touchdown. Franklin with the 48-40 win. Their very slim playoff hopes are still alive. Heading into Friday night in Class 5A. Canasio on the road at El Paso High. The Eagles could officially clinch the outright 1-5A Division II title tonight. With a win first quarter, they're already up 7-0. Jeremiah Knox rolls out, hits Dante Aguilar. He dives in for the 14-0 advantage. Later in the first, Matthew Gasca. In at quarterback, they'll do this from time to time. Bit more of a running threat, and you see why they're plowing over everybody into the end zone. Another score for Canatillo, and then they would extend it once more. This is Shea Alva for the touchdown. Canatillo rolls 62 to nothing. They win the outright district title. They take an 8-2 record into the playoffs. They'll host the by-district round next week. Tomorrow